Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it's Wednesday and really looking forward to the day. And I know that God's going to bless you today. That's what he wants to do. And so let's let's put ourselves in a position where God can bless us, right? Um, and you ever been accused of something that you didn't do? Uh, I've done so many terrible things. I'm, I'm not proud of it at all. My life uh, before Christ was a mess. And after I gave my life to Christ, still trying to figure things out and grow out of some things and mature out of some things and leave some things behind. And I remember being in college. I was actually in Bible college studying to be a pastor. And I got accused of running through the girls' dorms and, you know, creating havoc. And that's a big no-no. You get kicked out of school for it and everything. And and I got called into the dean's office. I didn't know what for, but I knew it wasn't good. And I'm trying to run through my head all the things that I had done that you know wasn't appropriate and what was like what was going on. And um, uh, he he tells me, hey, you were seen running through the girls' dorms and and uh, you know being a jerk and everything. And and I asked, well, and, and and I immediately went, oh, I didn't do that, right? And so I'm telling him, no, that wasn't me. No, we know it was you. You were seen, you know, blah blah blah. So well, when did it happen? And they told me the time. And I was so thankful because the time they said that they I was seen running through the girls' dorm was when I was actually teaching a Bible class at the church where I was working at the time, serving at the time as a volunteer. And uh, and so they called the pastor and the whole thing, and, and I was I was exonerated. Um, but the Bible says to have a clean conscience so that those who accuse you um, can be put to shame. Now, I, I wasn't trying to put the dean to shame. Uh, maybe the accusers who told him that I had done this this thing, but uh, I thought about that. You know, when, when your conscience is clean, you can get called into the dean's office, and you don't have to worry. You can get called into your boss's office, but boss comes by and says, "Hey, I want to see you." You know, would you immediately tense up and go, "Oh no, oh no, oh no"? You start running through your head, "What's you know, what's going on?" Thinking of the stories you're gonna have to tell. Well, that's not good. But if you have a clean conscience, they can accuse you of anything they want to accuse you. It's not gonna stick. Um, now, they may still do whatever they're going to do. Maybe they're trying to get rid of somebody or whatever, and it's it's wrong. But you can walk out of there with a clean conscience. And at the end of the day, when the judge of all the earth will judge rightly, the Bible says the God of all the earth judges rightly, you can be at peace, and they will be put to shame. Let's have a good conscience today. Whatever there is, just take care of it, and let's walk clean. So that we don't have to be worried about being called into the boss's office, the principal's office, the dean's office, whatever. I want to stand before God someday and be able to look him in the eye and hear him say, hey, well done, good and faithful servant. I want that for you. So, Father, thank you, God, that you give us the ability to walk clean, to have a clean conscience, to, God, to, to put our accusers to shame, Lord, because we are clean before you. And you're the only judge that matters. And no, no matter what anybody else accuses us of, God, I want to stand clean before you. So I love you, Jesus. Um, God, I want to walk it out today. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, love you guys. Let's have a clean conscience, and we'll see you tomorrow.